Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Bookie 2988 reaction. Um, this won't be too long, but this one is called Trolling a Makeover Spec Specialist Bookie 2988 Documentary Extended Same. So this is popular stuff that we did not like. What is what we're seeing Boogie do here is like the extended stuff that uh, Boogie probably didn't put in the documentary because that is only an hour long. Um, that's what we're seeing on this channel now. So um, let's see what happens in this video and um, curious uh, what this video is about. Makeover specialist is, is what this says. So, legitimately want a girlfriend. I mean this legitimately. Okay, well, legitimately, I would I would like her to like me for me. Absolutely. She should like you for you. So... But there has to be an initial attraction. I mean, you got me there. I don't know about this makeover shit, uh, but we're doing it. We're going to give it a shot. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's putting lipstick on a pig, if I'm being honest with you. When I come back, I'm going to look completely different. I'm going to be attractive. I'm going to be a sexy man. Oh, my God, Bucky. Bye. Bye. This is the one thing I don't want to do. Like, I don't mind working out. I do that occasionally. I don't mind going on a date. I like going on dates. It doesn't make sense to put effort into my appearance when I am shaped like a beanbag chair. some help i think that he um just looking at him you know he um oh, wow. probably hasn't had a haircut in a while and i think he's probably one of those people that doesn't really care what his hair looks like you know it's just do whatever you want i don't really care i'll just let it grow out how are you, how are you feeling buddy? anxious a little angry a little scared a little bit a little bit of everything men that keep up with their hair i find that to just be more like they just they care about the way that they look there's some guys that just don't so be it if you don't care then you don't care so my my once every six month approach probably not the best for first yeah, impressions huh? probably not the best for for first impressions definitely not <laughs> how old are you would you believe 48 no yeah well, being that you're 48, I'm 23, mm -hmm. so I'm in a whole different category. I will be honest with you, um, I, I don't know exactly why it is, but the women that I've attracted most frequently mm -hmm. have been in their mid to late 20s and oh. early 30s. Nice. I very rarely dated anybody my age, so honestly, you are kind of in my demographic of women that mm -hmm. I've been dating since my divorce. We need to get that. What do you think about what I'm wearing now? I think it could be better. Okay, so I think that's probably the tone. Uh, I I mean, honestly, it's purely utilitarian, right? Okay. But there's some fashion here, like a, the Pac-Man Crocs. Those are nice. Like, that's my favorite video game. Okay. The doggies are real. This one is Leo. He's the mini poodle. This one is Sam. <laughs> oh my god. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Yeah. I've been collecting for the better part of 15 years now. Oh. A lot of Dungeons and Dragons miniatures and uh, a lot of magic cards and stuff. You know, really valuable stuff. The, the environment that he's living in is not, it's, it's not good. To me, this is almost toxic. You can't walk into this and be happy in this type of environment. This is one of my favorites. My friend Ed sent me this one. Ed McMullen knew him, right? He made Binding of Isaac. So he, he sent me this one. Oh. And I really like this one because it's Isaac, but he's melting. Huh. And so I feel like this is a real, like, like I think it's like a statement piece. And the statement is that uh, Isaac is melting. Oh. So you would like this one? No. What is it? You, you this shirt says I'm never getting late again. I made this one 
Uh, this is uh, Boogie Nights. Do you recognize the logo? You know, this is this is Pornhub. Never seen Pornhub. And so, like, normally it says porn and then hub, but oh. I'm Boogie. And so there's a movie called Boogie, Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights, I have seen that. And so, like, this is Boogie Nights. But in the Pornhub, like, logo? Right, it's because I have an OnlyFans. You have do what? You, do you know what an OnlyFans is? No. It's where you sell pictures of your butthole to people. Oh. Do you legitimately want a girlfriend? I mean this legitimately. Okay, well, legitimately, I would, I would like her to like me for me. Absolutely. But do you want somebody that respects you? Well, I think a lot Do of, you want... Yes or no? Yes, but I think a lot of women would respect the fact that I'm about to be persona for her. It's a you really hard game. there's a lot game. of women that would respect that at my age? Not at 20. Nowadays, you never know. You can't just touch on what all women in, what, your 50s are like. Because some women in their 50s still game. I met someone on Xbox 360 back when I was on that, um, who was uh, now in her 60s, but I think she was in her high 50s when I met her. Um, you know, you never know what people are like, you know. And some women, this woman's age, do game. And will probably find it impressive about this Persona 4 thing. Plus... The legal age is 18, age of consent thing is 16, especially in some states. Um, so, uh, if two people connect and there's like a big age difference, like for example, Boogie and Dez, and, and they can connect and they're compatible, then people should just support that relationship. It's as simple as that, and that's how I think of it too, so. Anyways, let's continue. I, just, I had to bring that up real quick. Feels almost over as well. So, what's important to a forty-year-old woman? Forty. Stability. Well, I responsibility. Definitely have that. I'm definitely struggling with that one. But there has to be an initial attraction. I mean, you got me there. You sound like a therapist. Well, I'm not trying to be your therapist. Okay, but okay. So, what you're suggesting is, even though I, I'm not very responsible, even though I don't really have my stuff together, I could dress like I do. Well, that was an interesting video. I enjoyed that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one. Mm.